Here we are back at PAX 2017 Australia. I'm joined by Josh. How you doing, man? Good, man. How about yourself? Really good. Now, we're at the Cooler Master booth, and they've got custom mods, right? Make it yours. But i got to say, before we start this video, dude, I, at Computex, I didn't get one of those hats. I got rejected. I'm sorry, bro, that we, you know, loaded up D underscore Nied, but, bro, we got you now. We got you. Oh, damn. All right, so, guys, <laughs> I'm going on now. I'm playing CSGO on that map called Destroyed. That's, That's where it. we're going. Yeah. yeah. So now we've got the custom mods behind us, this one being the most craziest build I've seen yet. PUBG, massive game, so popular. What have we got here? So this is a collaborative build, right? So this is actually done between Stephen Hode of Tech Modified and Corey Gregory of Designs by IFR, two of Australia's top case modders. So they've come together to do a crazy build like this, pumped it out in four days. It was live streams, 26 hours of coverage, and you, you can see it for yourself. It's a stunner. Four days, that's pretty impressive for the job they've done. I mean, what are the specs in this thing though? Yeah, so dude, basically this thing's packed out with wicked hardware. We've got a Core i7 CPU at the heart of it. We've got SLI GTX 1080 graphics cards. So it looks the goods for the game. It could, it'll also smash out the game. So it's, it's winning, bro. Doesn't just look like the part, it plays the part. And PUBG is definitely a game that's very demanding, right? Oh, dude, some of those frame rate drops can be really intense, but when you're running SLI 1080s, it's a non-issue. So the whole thing is with Cooler Master, though, they're making this happen, right? They're supporting the modifiers, and also they've got a big focus of their own with their cases to allow the cases to be modified themselves. So what case is this a base case we've got here? What is it? Well, actually, you may not be able to see it in there, but it's the H500P, the new half. Yeah. Damn. So now we're here with the custom modified PC. I did see this at Computex, but we didn't really cover it. Do you want to tell us more about this one too? Right, so this is Street Dreams, and this is made by Stephen Hode of Tech Modified in a collaboration build with a Portuguese graffiti artist named La Funky. So he's come through and contributed in terms of all, all the sort of graffiti styles here, and then Stephen's come through, modified it, opened it up a bit, put in the lighting, and it's just a killer system. It's got, it's, it's a street dream. So now we're here with the last of the custom PCs on display at Paxos. Do you want to tell us more about this one? So this one here is using the Cooler Master Master Case Maker 5T. It's built by Ethan Cooper of Technology and Gaming. And it's based around The Witcher, and the PC itself is called the Wild Hunt PC. So it's kitted out with latest, greatest hardware inside there, as well as just some additions on the outside. So to bring through that real, you know, Witcher theming. So now one thing with enthusiast companies in the PC market is getting involved in the community. Now behind me, we've got a heap of cooler master cases kitted out with good hardware and they're playing PUBG. They're letting people come in, play PUBG. Now what's going on with this competition here? So dude, it's all about just getting involved. That's what we want to see. We want to be inviting people who perhaps never played PUBG. Come along, have a game, get in there. And if you happen to get through to the top 10 out of the 100 people in the server, we're going to give away a Cooler Master gaming mouse pad. And if they happen to get the chicken dinner that is first place, then we're just going to make it rain loot. And it's been a lot of fun. We've had one chicken dinner this weekend and a lot of top 10. So we've just been, you know, handing out gear left, right and center. It's been fun. And the last piece of this puzzle here at the Cooler Master booth is M-Wave, yeah? They're making this possible. So tell us a bit more about what's going on with M-Wave and how they're contributing with the Cooler Master booth. So basically, Cooler Master wanted to pair with a reseller that we knew was going to be community driven and is involved within the community in terms of gaming and knows what gamers want. And so we're like, hey, get involved here with us. We want to share some deals with everyone. So we've got up to 40% off our gaming peripherals, so the keyboards, the mice, and the headsets. And guys, everyone's been loving it. It's been awesome. Yeah, so with that, they are pretty much, if you guys with M-Wave as well, they offer pre-built PCs. Now, on my channel, I'm not a big fan of the pre-builds, but if you, you know, there are people out there who just don't want to build a PC, they don't have time or they don't know, and it's sort of tricky, and getting into PC gaming, you just wouldn't go buy a pre-built, and then you can get into it after that, maybe mod your PC after that. So they do offer good pre-built packages, yeah? Absolutely, dude. You know, like I'm enthusiast to my absolute core. And I started out when I was like 13, 14 with a pre-built system. So everyone has to start somewhere and it helps if you have enthusiasts building a system for you as well because you have that extra bit of insight. So there you go. And Wave, have you covered for that, guys? And if you have any questions for Josh or I, just drop a comment in the comment section below. Some of these mods were looking really hot today. And I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Oh yeah, catch you later guys, it's been an absolute pleasure, always great to be with you man. 
It's meant to be peace out for now. Bye. Peace out for now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>